Well, every now and then when you're driving down the interstate, you know, with the windows down, there's a possibility that something may fly out of your car. Maybe some paper. Uh, maybe you might throw out a cop along the roadway, but someone has to pick that up. Always remember that. So one viewer reached out to us and said that is not happening. And First Coast News reporter Nick Perot has more on all the debris littering our roadways. If you've traveled along Interstate 295 recently, north or south near the San Jose Boulevard exit, aside from the construction, you may have also noticed your eyes wandering to the shoulder and all the trash. First, I made a circle around Buckman Bridge. Sure, there were a few pieces of cardboard and some pieces of tire, but nothing major. That is, until my second loop, near mile marker 11 to be specific. Some harmless leftovers from your fast food run to more serious pieces of metal, whatever this belongs to. Regardless of how it got here, it shouldn't be here. So that right there is sitting along 295. Blue Fox Cinema. Yeah, I you know. Um, it looks like uh, some, what, I, what I would describe as consumer debris. Since this area is under construction, FDOT says the contractor hired to do the work. Dragados USA is responsible for cleanup along the Buckton Bridge and east to I-95. That includes both construction materials and anything else left behind. It's something that we meet with the contractor on a weekly basis and we make sure that they're held accountable for, for being good stewards of taxpayer dollars. Hampton Race is under the contract with FDOT. Dragados is required to do routine cleanup. It couldn't elaborate how often is routine. We'll definitely follow up with the contractor and making sure that they're held accountable not only for being good stewards of taxpayer dollars, but you know we take pride in our roadways. Pride that's taking a hit tonight. And that was Nick Perot with that story.